Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a Google form. My YouTube studio analytics suggested that I make a video about this, so I'm doing that. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to get started. So first of all, we wanna to get to Google Forms, and we can do it a few different ways. We can go to docs.google.com slash forms. You could also go into your Google Drive and select new, and then select forms, and create a new blank form or blank quiz. Or you can be in any aspect of your Google account, signed into your Google account, including Gmail, like I am right here, and go up to that little nine dot menu, and then select forms, and you'll be right back here to Google Forms. Now, we're going to create a blank Google form. We're gonna create from a blank Google form, not from a quiz right now. This is just a basic form that I'm going to use to get to know my class. So let's call this the getting to know each other questionnaire. So that's the title of my form. And when I click over here, it's automatically now copied in there as well. Now, if I want to use something besides the default purplish background, I can customize the theme over here and say I want to use a blue theme and a darker background. I can change the font, make it playful font or formal font or go back to the basics. You can also put in your own header image if you like. Perhaps I want to use this one here of someone playing basketball. And now we have this new theme that was automatically matched to that header image. And you can change out the theme color again if you want to. I'm going to leave it just like that for the rest of this demo. Now, I want to ask my first question. And I want to know who's filling out this form. There are a couple of ways that I can make sure I know who fills out the form. The first way is to add a question and say, what is your name? Make that a short answer question and make it required so that people have to answer that question in order to submit the form, submit the answers or their responses. That's one option. Another option here is in our settings and we go to responses and we can say collect email responses and therefore people have to be signed into their email account in order to complete the form. You can see here, I can also restrict this to users within my domain, but in this case, I'm gonna turn that option off. So that's another option I could use to make sure I know who filled out the form. There is a third option. And the third option is to put it into Google Classroom as an assignment. And we'll look at that a little bit later in this video. So now let's go back to questions and put in our first real question beyond what is your name. So let's click on untitled question here. And I'm gonna ask my class, what is something that you did for fun this summer? And I'm gonna let my students write a paragraph as their response. I'm gonna add one more question. And this question is going to be, do you like ice cream? And when I do that type of question in multiple choice format, Google tries to suggest some possible responses. So I'm gonna click add all of yes, no, or maybe. Now I want my students to be able to respond to this questionnaire so I can share it with them in a few different ways. First of all, we can go up to send and we could email it to our students from this field right here. We can get a link to the form 
and put that link wherever we would like, including in Google Classroom or any other learning management system that we would be using. Or you could even embed the form as a live fillable form inside a blog post or existing web page, perhaps in Google Sites, Blogger, or WordPress, Wix, or Weebly as well. So I'm going to now show you what it looks like when someone goes to fill out this form. So a person who has the link to the form will see it just like this, and they might fill it out, put in their first name, Bob, something we did for fun this summer. I went fishing in the lake. I caught three largemouth bass and one smallmouth bass. Do you like ice cream? Yes, of course I like ice cream. And submit that form. Now we can see here that the student could submit another response because back here in my copy of the form that I originally created under my settings, I did not limit the number of responses. I could, however, enable that option and then say that you can only fill it out one time. Now I can see the responses here in my responses tab where I will see that Bob filled this out. I went fishing in the lake. And yes, Bob likes ice cream. And as more responses come in, I'll see all the names and all the responses right here in this responses summary, but I can also go through on a question by question basis or on an individual respondent basis where I see Bob went fishing in the lake and likes ice cream. Finally, I could also click on this little create a spreadsheet button and view all the responses in a spreadsheet format, which can be very convenient if you have a lot of responses and you want to perhaps sort through them without having to do it manually on a tab by tab basis like you see right here. Now finally, I want to show you how you can create or make a Google form from within Google Classroom. So let's do that right now. So here I am in this demo Google Classroom that I have set up. And I'm going to go over here to the Classwork tab. And I'm going to create from here, let's say, a new assignment. And with this new assignment, I might say to my students, fill out this form. Put in some instructions and say, please complete this form by Tuesday. Now, I'm gonna go here to the Google Drive option and you can see here, I could pull my existing Google form that I previously made just a few moments ago, but I could also go here and select attach new items and create a brand new form right here and we'll see creating the new form. And now let's call this one getting to know each other. And in this case, because I've done this through Google Classroom, I started the process through Google Classroom and it will be an assignment, I'm gonna know who filled it out automatically. So let's say I'm gonna give this to my students and I'm just gonna say, you know, what did you do for fun last summer? And we'll make that a paragraph question. Add another one and say, do you like ice cream? And we'll add all those suggested responses. So now we have the getting to know each other form right here. Again, you could use that send option, but you don't need to because now when you assign this form, we're going to see this now as an assignment, fill out this form. And we can see here, 
It's now been renamed from the Untitled to Getting to Know Each Other, which matches up with this form name as well. So that is how you can make your first Google Forms. If you want to know more about Google Forms, check out the links in the description for this video. We have lots of other tutorials about interesting things and ways you can use Google Forms in your classroom. And as always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.